first thing is get the car as central as you can to the back of the, back of the van. One of the great things about the Up is that it's got a huge boat. It's got this little compartment in here that you can put an A-frame bag in. And that is just a plumber's bag. But it's got all the stuff we need for the A-frame. Bring it down. First thing that's first is put the number plate on. And that's just held on with some Velcro strips. So this bit here, see it, that's just the towing eye, don't think it's going quite close, that's just the towing eye. And that's where they normally put the, the uh, recovery eye in there. And what they've done is they've added another hole just there. So there's a hole drilled drilled into the uh, into the crash bar. So what you do is you stick one of these on this side. And I forgot to put my gloves on. I really need gloves for this. As you get by cans, but I can wash my hands. And you wind it on <coughs> and then you turn it back half a turn. I think that just allows it so it will move a bit. You don't want it fixed. Then you put the other one, Oop. if you get it to thread to go in, there we go, you put the other one on the other side. And back half a turn, that's that, that's Tesco, get this out. Comes off, so the bar comes off. <coughs> and this comes out, slides out, and put these clips into these clips, go through there, and it clip on the other side like that. Front up here. Get one end. And push it through like that. I'll come over that side. So you can see I've missed it by about a couple of inches. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the wheel that way.
normally there's two of us doing this, so I think if I just pull the cow forward, and that's on. Now the green thing means it's locked, so you know that's locked, it's fairly secure. And that's on. Right, so that's that. Got, it's got the cable here, so this is the hookup cable. I've got just got a little cap here, it's off a brake fluid thing. I just had that, and that cap stops these shorting out on the uh, electric, which we've actually had, haven't we? I've had that, yeah. It blew a, a fuse, fuse, didn't it? Yeah. To call the AA, so yeah. I mustn't lose that cap. So I plug it in. You see, it's was that? that's three seven pin plug. And it goes in there. The motor has actually got a thirteen pin plug on it, and we've got an adapter on top of that as well. So then, what you do is you route the cable round round the bonnet, so you don't trap it under the thing there, and then just hold it there. Shut the bonnet. I use this little bungee strap thing just for tying that on so it doesn't trail on the ground. And I'm going to then hook it under these clips. Whoop, come in, that's it. Put the clips on there, and that's nice and neat. So now breakaway cable. This is a little plug that you've got, and that's your breakaway unit. And what happens if that comes out, that puts the brakes on. So if the whole thing disconnects, the car will stop on its brakes. And this is the breakaway cable, it's a little flexy thing. It doesn't have to be particularly strong, it just, if it pulls that, it pulls the brakes on. And what you do is a, you see that? nicely. Right, so first thing is make sure the unit's switched on. Handbrake's in neutral. Ham uh, sorry, gear stick's in neutral. Handbrake's on. And what you do is then you switch the ignition on and straight off. And what that does is it unlocks the steering wheel. Mm. So the wheels can free to turn on their own. You've got the braking thing um, the braking actuator down there, so that will operate the brakes as you're going along. The ignition's not on, but the car is going to be powered by, by the van now. So that's it, I'm going to lock the doors, I'm going to test the lights. Right, just going to test the lights, I've got Jenny standing behind the car, so i switch the main beam on, or the lights on, so she says that's okay. Indicator left, indicator right, Stand on the brakes, and we're all right, and we're good to go. All right, so we, we've got our checklist, as we mentioned in one of our previous videos, and uh, so what we're going to do, obviously, we'd just go through. If we were leaving site, a site, we'd go through the the site thing. Um, so I think if we go sign left, awning put away, flaps, drain taps, dogs post, chairs in, chocks removed, external lockers. 240 volts disconnected. I once drove off from home with the 240 mm. volts connected. Uh, so aqua roll, steadies removed. Right, so that's the checklist for the car. So we've got breakaway cable attached, smart unit, smart tow unit switched on. If you don't switch that on, uh, it won't do the braking. Handbrake off, you don't want to go along with your handbrake off, on rather. Steering lock off, that's the, where you switch the ignition on and make sure the steering wheel moves. We've checked the car lights, so that's it. And the rest of it is back inside the aerial down, satellite off, sunroofs closed, cupboard secured, sink lid, items put away, cooker lid down, fridge shut. We put the, oh, we put the heating on, on. it's yeah. about 
well, it's about six degrees Reason. outside and yeah, pretty horrible. Warm. Shut the toilet, stowed the dog, uh, stowed the table, stowed the yeah, dog, and the dog, yeah. and the dog. Shower doors closed. Step in, rear camera on, so we can actually keep an eye on the car as we're going along, which is really useful. Yeah. Uh, and the crash cam's plugged in. I've got the crash cam plugged in. So that's it. So yeah. I'm just going to take you for a little ride and we'll talk about what it's like, what it's like to drive it, drive with the car attached. Set enough. I'm going to get out. The thing about towing the, the car is that your turning circle, which is already fairly large, is even larger. So if you look in the mirror, you see the car following the van, and you have to give it you have you have to give it quite a wide berth to get out and, and round corners. I mean, it all, always in the, in the motor, you have to go quite wide round corners, but it's just a little bit wider with the car. And what you notice, first thing you notice when you're towing with the car on the back is not much really. <laughs> um, it's it probably a little bit slower to get going from traffic lights but then we're no boy racer anyway. Um, and it, it, it tugs a little bit at the back, um, less than a caravan would I think. Depends obviously on the car that you're towing with. Um, and that's about it, really. It's uh, it's pretty good. Um, oh, I suppose the thing I ought to mention, and I haven't had a chance yet, is what it's like when you're braking. So uh, it's coming up to a roundabout in a minute. And uh, I'll, I'll describe it. So I'm just going to put the foot on the brake now. What you feel is after you take it happens after you take your foot off the brake. So you put your foot on the brake and everything slows down, which is not surprising. When you take your foot off the brake, there's a little delay and a little tug from the behind from behind. And what's happening is that the braking unit on the car has a slight delay when until it realizes that you've taken your foot off the brake. So you mm. still feel that the car's braking. So that, that's really how you know that the braking unit and the tow it, towing unit is actually working properly. Yeah. We can still see the car is following us. Yeah. Right, that's it. Um, we're, got, we're on the motorway, um, cruising along at 60 miles an hour, or just under actually. And uh, car's on the back, on our way to our next video. Um, so if you like what you see, give us a, give us a thumbs up. Um, remember to subscribe and if you have subscribed or if you're going to subscribe remember to tick the little bell icon and that gives you notifications when we release a video. Um, the reason for doing that is you don't really want to miss out do you? on our adventures. Um, so we'll catch up with you in the next video.